Hey everyone, this is Kate Schwenke and I'm going to be doing a two-part video for you guys today. Uh, the first part is going to be me unwrapping this new bag that I have, and then the second part is going to be me doing the packing video of how I pack it. So um, this item is actually a custom item. It's a custom bag that my friend Naomi made, and um, I was able to purchase it from her on her page, The Turquoise Rose. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it and see how it looks. I saw pictures of it and I've been dying to open it, so here we go. Okay, so it just came in this poly mailer, so it's not really an unboxing, it's more like an unwrapping. Um, so here we go. This is how it looks. It's got this cute little card on top and it's in a Ziploc bag, which is always smart to do if you are using um, pretty much anything. But yeah, even on a poly mailer that's waterproof, if it gets a hole in it, you want to keep your stuff safe. So she was smart and put it into the Ziploc bag, so it's extra safe. So she put in my little um, order slip, which is awesome. And then she packaged it up really cute in this red uh, paper. What is it called? Tissue paper. <laughs> This red tissue paper, and it has, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got really cute little anchors and uh, little lifesavers on this tape. It's so cute. I've never seen tape like that before. I might have to go get myself some now. It's cute. Okay, so the very top on the card it says, Kate, thank you for ordering this gorgeous Commodore Super B. Enjoy your new bag, Naomi. So, um, and Naomi, like I said, she's the owner of the Turquoise Rose. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Here we go. This will be my actually first custom bag that I've had made. Um, so I'm really excited. Oh, it's so pretty already. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's still got the little tape on there too from, um, Jujubee always puts a little piece of tape just to protect the plates on there because they're easily scratched. So, here we go. Oh, it's so cute. I think this is going to be perfect for quick trips out. Okay, so what she did was she bought two Super Bs, one in the first mate print, which is this print here, and then one in the um, the Admiral print, which is the anchors. And she just kind of picked them apart and put them back together to create the Commodore because Jujube didn't make a Commodore Super B. They only made the Commodore in like two bags. So um, I was really excited when I saw this because I, I just had to have something else in the Commodore print because I love it so much. So this is what the front looks like. You have the Admiral and the First Mate on the front. And on the back, it's kind of like the same way. Just the Admiral and the First Mate on the back there. The straps are the First Mate. And she left them the same length as the regular Super B. So the only thing to me that looks um, different, at least um, for the mini part, part of the bag, is how long it is. Because, here I'll show you, I have a regular Super B. Maybe she even cut it down. Oh, she did. Okay. I don't know what I'm talking about because it's my first, <laughs> my first mini Super B. So if you can see, she left the straps the same length but she took it up from the bottom a little bit and took it in from the sides a little bit. It's actually going to be a perfect size for me because the Super B on its own is just too big for everyday use for me. Um, I like to use it for overnights and things like that or just in a car for like a car bag. So this is regular Super B. This is the light Super B or the mini Super B. <laughs> so okay. So that's what the main um, differences look like they are. I also think that the pockets are a little slimmer. I think the middle pocket is still the same size. The side pockets are just a little bit slimmer, but that's no big deal. I mean, I can still put um, all kinds of different things in there, so. And the back pocket still has that snap closure. So there you go. That's pretty much, to me, it looks like the only difference is on the outside. I love how she did this on the top. Guys, the quality of her stitching is great. I mean, I can't even tell that this is like picked apart or, or anything. It looks like the way Jujubee would have made it, so I really like that. 
And she left the tape on the actual um, zipper pull too. All right, so, and there's my tags. <laughs> okay, so the inside still looks about the same. I haven't used the Super Bee in a while. She has the key fob in there still. There's two good size pockets. I'm sure that those have been taken in a little bit, at least one. Um, and then there's this zipper pocket on the inside still. So, yeah, I can't wait to do the packing video for you guys to show you how I pack this up. Because this, I think, is going to be going with me everywhere. I've been wanting to use something like the Super B, but just not as big. And then the light is just too small. So this should be perfect for me. I'm, I'm really excited to use it. <laughs> All right, so that's just my quick review for the bag, and if you want to see more on this, um, keep watching, and I'll have my packing video in there too. If you're wanting to buy your own mini Super Bee like this one, or you could even get a different print, you can click the link in the description to Naomi's shop, the Turquoise Rose. It'll take you right there, and you can order from her. She's really, really easy to work with, and her quality on her items is just fabulous. So I highly, highly recommend her, and uh, thanks for watching.